Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about mastering OpenShift essential login and configuration commands. Okay, in our lab environment, OpenShift is running on vSphere platform. So our main infrastructure platform is vSphere, okay? And before jumping to the topic, let's quickly recap what is Red Hat OpenShift. As we are aware, Red Hat OpenShift is an enterprise ready or enterprise grade Kubernetes container platform built for an open hybrid cloud strategy. And it's a container application platform that allows developers to deploy, manage, and scale their application on any infrastructure, whether it is on premises, public or hybrid cloud okay even the multi-cloud environments also we can run the red hat open shift so in our uh, lab environment it is running on premises within a vSphere platform so most of the enterprise uh, enterprises when they are using a kubernetes on a test environment when they're planning to move it to the production it's recommended to use enterprise grade kubernetes platform one of the enterprise grade kubernetes platform is red hat open shift so for production environment instead of going to the open source kubernetes we recommend to we recommend the customers to use enterprise grade kubernetes platforms okay so let's jump into the today's topic so mastering open shift essential login and configuration commands as we are aware in our previous session i talk about how to install the vSphere, uh, how to install Red Hat OpenShift on vSphere platform using IPA method, in infrastructure provision installation method. So within the IPA method, we already deployed the OpenShift cluster. So OpenShift cluster, we can access in two methods. One is we can access using graphical user interface, GUI, and another method is CLI, command line interface. So before uh, explaining the commands, first log into the, our OpenShift cluster and understand the infrastructure. Then I will start explaining about the commands. So let me log into our lab system. Let's say within our lab environment, we have a OpenShift cluster is running. Suppose when I log into the vCenter server, select the VMs and templates, and there is a folder called starts with OCP1. When I expand this folder, OCP1 folder, we can see all the OpenShift cluster VMs. It have a three masters, master zero, master one, master two, and it have three workers, worker zero, and it is have a different uh, ID number, virtual machine ID number. So we have a three workers. So this is our OpenShift cluster nodes. So we have totally six nodes, three for master, or we can also call it as control plane node and three for worker nodes. And this one, if you want to access during the installation, uh, once the installation is completed, it will provide you one console ID, cluster console ID, ID and password. And default ID is cube admin. So currently I already log into the cluster and we log in with a cube admin. And when we log into the Red Hat OpenShift, there are two types of views. Let's say, for example, currently it is in a developer view. Let's select the drop down menu. We can shift to the administrator view. So within the administrator, we can see the Red Hat platform complete overview. And if you see under the detail section, we have the cluster API address and the infrastructure provider is vSphere. And our current OpenShift version is running with the latest version, which is 4.13.4. And it is using a trial edition. It is currently 60 days trial edition. Okay. And now this is about the how we can access Red Hat OpenShift using graphical user interface. We can access using the Red Hat OpenShift cluster URL and URL we can log in with a default admin, cube admin and password. We can connect to this graphical user interface. Until this, we are clear. Now, let's talk about the command line interface. To access the command line interface, we have a multiple methods. Suppose within this graphical user console, there is an option for question mark. When you click on this question mark, we can see the options for quick start documentation and there is an option for command line tools. When you click on command line tools, you can see the option, the first section it says command line tools. You can just copy the login command and we can log into the our Red Hat OpenShift using CLI, command line 
interface and this command line interface not only from the linux system uh, red hat giving you multiple options you can download the command line interface and you can run it using linux x86 platform and you can also download the openshift command line interface and you can install on a macintosh platform macbooks also you can run and you can run it on windows platform not only x86 architecture intel motherboard even if you have a different hardware platforms a arm processors also you can use you can run this o, download this oc and run it on your ar for even for example if you click on download this one the next one it will download the linux one if you see in the right side corner left side corner the download is in progress you can download this file and you can install that is one method or else alternatively in our lab we already during the installation we configured a one of our infrastructure management vm that is called ocp helper 01 and this ip is ends with a 46 ip you can use this linux enterprise vm and you can copy the login command you can access that is also another method this copy login command available here and another option is when you select the cube admin drop down there is option to copy login command so any option you can use okay when i click on copy login command and click on the display token you can see the your api token it is showing the specific to our access our openshift cluster there is a dedicated api bearer token or you can log into the login with this token. We can just copy paste this command to our Linux system to log into OpenShift cluster via command line interface. And another option, suppose if you are using any of the backup tools, for example, Commvault, Cohesity, any of Veeam, uh, Cast, and any of the tools, if you want to add our OpenShift cluster to the backup, that time we need this API token. We also call it as bearer token. Using this bearer token, we can add our OpenShift cluster to the any of the third party tool. One best example is backup tool. Okay, but in our today's lab, we are just trying to use the login with this token, this command, and the command mainly starts with OC login. Okay, so to log into this, first let me connect to our OCP helper VM, our OCP helper VM is 192.168.243.46. So let me click on login and login as root. Okay, once we log in, uh, let me increase the font for our better view. Okay, let me maximize. So now, if you want to see the command section, it's clearly mentioned the first command login as a system admin starts with your OC login. But in our OpenShift cluster, by default, it use the cube admin and it is also along with the API token. So let me copy the token from our graphical user console. So just call OC login, copy this command, okay? and open our Linux help OCP helper VM and paste this command. Once you paste this command, click on connect. It clearly says we already log into our OCP cluster and we log in as a cube admin using token provided. Okay, and you have access to the 67 project. This list has been suppressed. You can list all the projects using OC projects. Okay, so this is the, how we can log into the our OCP helper VM. So that is the first command I highlighted in our slide. So now we got an idea how we can run this command. And second command, user information. If you want to find the current user information, so you can just type the command OC space, who am I? So who am I? We already log in with a cube admin. So the ID it is showing as a cube admin. Not only cube admin, later you can create a multiple user account. User account you can create using a command line or you can create using a graphical also. Under administration section, go to the user management users. You can create the users here. Okay. And let me back to our slide. This command we validated. And another command view the your configuration to verify our openshift cluster configuration view the command is pretty simple openshift cluster so short form oc config view so let me type the command oc config view it will give us cluster configuration information it have our cluster information and all the details you can find under the config view okay so this command also verified. And another one, display version information. If you want to see the version information, how we can type is OC space version. 
when i type os space version we can see our cluster client version is 4.13.4 and the customized version is version 4.5.7 and the server version our actual cluster server version is 4.13.4 and the back end kubernetes version it is using 1.26 latest version only and the same information if you want to see from the graphical view just to home overview we can see here 4.13.4 same information from the command line okay so this command also we validated and another one if you want to verify list all image streams so image streams for the open shift project you can type the command oc get image streams in short form is hyphen n open shift so specifically to the open shift project so oc space get space image stream is space hyphen n and our project name we are giving as a open shift so it will display all the image streams information okay if you want to verify one by one just pipe symbol and more we can see the info all the information which is available here okay and let me clear the screen this is how we can validate list of all the available image stream for the open shift project okay and another command to verify our OpenShift cluster node list, the command is pretty simple, OC space get space nodes. So let me type the command OC space get space nodes. When I type this command, we can see our master nodes 3 and worker nodes 3. And master node, we can also call it as control plane node. Okay. And worker node, we call it as worker node. Okay. And sub, for example, here we are seeing only the uh, nodes information if you want to see the specific nodes what are the ips are configured that information if you want to verify oc space get space node space hyphen o and you can type wide when you type hyphen o wide additional this option it will give you the along with our master and worker node you will also get internal ip information external it ip information and our current nodes os version is red hat enterprise linux core os okay and another point this command also we verified and another command is display all resources to display all the resources oc get all secret comma config map so let me type this command and we can verify let me clear the screen and we can type the command host space get space all comma secret comma config map it will show us what is our overall the ocp cluster information what is the cluster ip and the service details and along with this we can see the secret information and config map details when you type oc get all seek oc space get space all comma secret comma config map okay so we got an idea how we can verify the all resource information okay and another command is list of list of storage classes normally in openshift there are a multiple storage classes when you are planning to deploy a openshift data foundation we should match our storage classes okay to display this information let me type the command is oc space hyphen n space openshift storage classes so we can type the command open shift hyphen storage get space storage class means in short form sc when you type sc it will show us our storage class name is thin csi default and provisioner is our csi container storage interface on vspa and we can see the volume information and also the yellow hello volume expansion is true and currently the age it is showing is 5 hours 26 minutes okay this is how we can get the storage class information even if you configure additional storage classes all this information you can find it here the same storage class if you want to see it in a graphical user interface log into the openshift cluster gui and you can look for your under storage section so under storage section you can look for your storage classes tab you can see here thin csi the same information we verified from the command line okay so this command also we were related and not only limited to these commands even there are yeah, some additional commands essential commands and just now we validated that to log into our openshift cluster we use the command oc oc login command suppose if i want to log out from here the command is same 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 as login oc space logout when you type logout we already logged out from the cube admin account
now if you try to type the command oc space get space notes this come uh, our information we won't get reason is we already logged out okay so again you can copy the login command copy and paste it here we are able to log into the console it's saying that the token is already expired. When the token is expired, what we have to do is you can just close this wizard and here refresh the console. We can try to log in with a new token. So new token again, same option. Copy login command, display token. This token is updated again. So just copy this command and paste it here. When you paste here and again type the same command, OC space, get space node. This time nodes information is displayed. Okay, so we verified the OC, OC login command, OC logout command. And similarly, even if you want to verify the project's information, you can just type the command OC space projects. It will provide the all the project's information. Okay, and this project's information also displayed. Even if you want to create a new project also, you can type, uh, type the command like here, OC space. To create the project, let's say our project is new project. We are going to create a new project. So command is OC space new hyphen project space our project name. Let's say project name. I am creating the name as project 01. Project hyphen 01. Okay, this is our project name. So now press enter. The project is created. When if you want to validate this information, OC space projects. And let me type pipe symbol and more and we can look for our project information. We already created just now. Project name is project 01. So when you see here, currently it is in a project 01. Okay, our information is whatever the project we created that is displayed in this output. Okay, if you want to delete this project, the uh, command we have to use this time is delete command, OC space, delete space and we have to type the project and we have to type our project name let's say project name is project hyphen zero one when you type this command it is trying to delete the newly created project zero one okay so currently project zero one is deleted if you want to verify the output type the command OC space projects see currently there is no project zero one here okay and like this, we can run the multiple commands within the our OpenShift command line CLI interface. Let me clear here. To display all the commands information, we have to type OC space help. Okay. When you type OC space help or when you type OC space hyphen H or you can use OC space hyphen hyphen help, any command will give you the same information of all the commands details. When I type OC space hyphen help, you can see when we type this OC help command, it will display all the information about starting with basic commands. Sorry, let me back to the lab system. You can see the, the all the basic commands. The basic commands are login command, new project, and even similarly, we just now verified the login command and new project. Similarly, you can also explore the other basic commands like new app, status, projects information, and explain. And we also have a after basic command, we have a build and deploy commands. Okay, if you want to build an application and all, the this build applications, you can use this build and deploy command. And same way for application management to create application and get the details, you can use application management command. And similarly, you can also use troubleshooting and debug command and advanced command. And logout command, we already tested. And even config command, we tested. Who am I? We tested. And we tested for your version command also. Even plugins also, it will provide utilities for interacting with plugins. Suppose if you want to verify plugin information, OC space, plugin space list. When you type plugin space list, it will provide the plugins list. But currently, it has to uh redirected to the any of the specific one so let me clear the screen and this time let me type the command as oc space hyphen h hyphen h also will display the same information okay so the remaining commands you can just explore all these advanced commands and uh, remaining application management commands okay so today with interest of our time we observed the few commands how we can access the openshift using cli access Okay, so that's it.
thank you for your time and if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the ignite cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now